Dr. Gerald DeMoss has had a lifetime love affair with Moorhead State University, but it didn't start out that way. His first exposure to the campus came as a basketball player in the early 60s, when his high school from Northern Kentucky traveled to Moorhead to play two games, one against Rowan County and the other the following day against the Breckenridge School. Very honestly, my impression was not good. Uh, I'll just tell you the truth about it. Uh, we, we arrived in the winter time and it was dark when we got to Moorhead. We played around county, we stayed in the Midland Trail Hotel and uh, that wasn't necessarily what you would call a Ramada Inn. And uh, then Saturday afternoon we played Breck and Saturday afternoon on campus here was pretty desolate. There wasn't anybody around. I mean, it, it did not seem like a college campus to me. And uh, so I, I wasn't impressed, and neither were my teammates, neither were the rest of the, the folks. But the superintendent of DeMoss's school district and Adrian Doran, the president of what was then known as Moorhead College, were friends, and a formal visit to the campus was arranged. DeMoss and five other students came during the week and met with recruiters in the student center cafeteria. And my impression changed that day. Uh, because lunchtime in the student center was busy and people were laughing and having a good time and it was crowded and it seemed like what I thought college should be. And uh, I was offered a scholarship. Uh, it was just a very tuition scholarship or something, just a few dollars. Uh, I don't even remember how much. And uh, so were a couple of my other uh, classmates. And so three of us decided to come to Morehead. DeMoss and two of his friends were assigned a room in a dormitory where other athletes stayed. He jokes it was about the size of a cracker box. His father helped him move in and offered what turned out to be wisdom for the ages. And as my, as my dad was leaving, he told me, he said, you stay here. Now I didn't know whether that meant I wasn't welcome back home or whether I've been kicked out or what it meant. But I think he meant, if I was going to be successful, I needed to stay here. Both of DeMoss's friends from high school dropped out, but he listened to his dad and stayed. He declared his major as mathematics and signed up for a course called Introduction to Analysis. And the uh, instructor in that class, um, it was a, 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 an awakening, I would say. Uh, I, I describe it as a hurricane, uh, category four hurricane. Her name was Lake Cooper, and <clears throat> she ate me alive. Uh, she let me know real quick that I wasn't near as smart as I thought I was, that my study habits were terrible, and that if I was gonna make it, I better put on my boots and get started. So, um, Interestingly, that probably is the most memorable thing that happened that I think allowed me to stay here. But his classes were difficult, maybe too difficult. DeMoss struggled. He saw others having fun. He decided to change his major. I remember coming out of Combs one morning and going into Lappin Hall. And when I went through the door at Lappin Hall, there stood Lake Cooper. And she said, Mr. Demos, that's what she called me, Mr. Demos. She put that emphasis on the D. She said, in my office, I thought the world was gonna come to an end because I figured that I was dead. She said, um, what is this I hear that you're changing your major to business? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, no, 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 mm -mm. no, you're not. She said, you're going to go right down the hall and change it back to mathematics. She said, I have way too much invested in you to allow you to change majors. I said, yes, ma'am. I went back down the hall and changed my major to mathematics. And I graduated with a, with a degree in mathematics. Gerald DeMoss received his degree in mathematics in 1966, and that would have been enough for most graduates, but he was a double major so he received a second degree in biology. 
1966 was an eventful year in Moorhead. That's when the state legislature allowed the college to become a university and offer graduate programs. DeMoss was invited to stay at the school and pursue a master's degree, which he completed in 1968. And then, after getting his Ph.D. in Tennessee, he returned to MSU for the start of a remarkable 42-year run on the campus that has precious few, if any, equals. DeMoss became a professor of biology, was named chair of the Department of Biological and Environmental Sciences, became dean of the former College of Arts and Sciences, and then dean of the College of Science and Technology. He also served as acting provost and vice president for academic affairs. I always enjoyed going to work. Uh, I, I rarely ever missed a day of work in the 40 plus years that I was here. Um, I really liked the student-teacher interaction. Um, and I enjoyed teaching freshmen the most. I, 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 I think I identified with so many of them because of the difficulty I had starting. And I could see that every year, every year with the freshman class. DeMoss understood from the beginning the difference a teacher could make, both in and out of the classroom. One year, I had a, uh, I was walking down the hall lap, and it was early in my career, really early. Um, and there was a little girl standing in the hallway crying. And it was about the time of year when school starts, and uh, uh, one of the secretaries was trying to console her, and uh, she was lost. She didn't know what to do. And uh, so I talked to her for a little bit. She was a biology major. Uh, her name was Nancy Rose, and uh, so I took her to my office and we talked and I got her to work ship and she worked for me for four years. And uh, I get a birthday card every year. So, so there are a few students like that. For his extraordinary service to students like Nancy Rose and countless others, and to Moorhead State University itself, the conference room in the student center was named after Dr. DeMoss. When, when, uh, when I was a faculty member here, you know, I, I, I lived in Lappin Hall, and that's just telling you the truth. I just, I was in Lappin Hall all the time. And uh, Matt Pryor and Jerry Howe kidded me uh, all the time that they were going to name the men's restroom on the third floor <laughs> the, the Gerald DeMoss restroom you know and it was kind of a joke and, and, and funny but at the, at the time in uh, uh, so I, I always thought well if they name anything after me it'll be a, a restroom. <laughs> the 2019 Founders Award recipient was followed to Moorhead State by his sons Darren and Trent who are both graduates with Darren serving as a faculty member on campus. Also, DeMoss's grandchildren, along with a number of nieces and a nephew, have received their degrees from MSU. I think the, the, the education I received, the opportunities that I've been given, and the ability to provide for my family the way I did is, um, I owe the university a lot, and I'm not sure I can pay that debt. <laughs>